What's up everybody, Paul Hickey here with your data-driven daily tip. Man, it makes me so happy to be creating content right now. Speaking to all of you out there who really wanna know how to use data to improve your business. And so today we're gonna talk about uh, how and why you absolutely need to filter out all bot traffic from your Google Analytics accounts. So for those of you looking at my screen right now, you're looking at a client Google Analytics account. Uh, we inherited this client, so it's not our fault that this happened. Just wanna uh, throw that disclaimer out there. But uh, this inherited client's account did not have bot traffic filtered out. So as we were doing our first monthly report for this client, we saw, boom, look at this traffic increase uh, from about 60 to 100 users a day uh, in 2019, about the, um, you know, middle of the year, let's call it, boom, all of a sudden, uh, it started getting, you know, five or six times that amount of web traffic all the way up to sometimes, you know, 300 or 400 users per day. And so as we started to drill down, uh, we thought maybe this client was doing some amazing marketing campaigns. Uh, unfortunately, they got hit instead with some bot traffic because if you see uh, geography and location um, and then drill down to city, you can see Boardman, Oregon uh, started making up just a ridiculous amount of their website traffic, 72%. And you can see that the bounce rate was super high, 89% and the uh, pages per session were low, and the average session duration was four seconds. Uh, that is not right. So after not being able to find the referral source to this amazing traffic increase, uh, we looked and saw that this Boardman, Oregon, the city of Boardman, Oregon, was totally uh, driving up the web traffic. It did not look correct to us, so we did a little bit more digging and we found out that some other blogs had written about this Boardman bots attack through Google Analytics um, and that actually um, Amazon has a data center in uh, Boardman, Oregon as well, which may be you know, a reason why these, these bot attackers uh, choose Boardman, Oregon. Um, and so, what to do about it is actually really easy. So what we did was we went into Google Analytics under the admin tab for this particular website, web property, and we checked uh, this bot filtering box right here, exclude all hits from known bots and spiders. So this is gonna be something that you're gonna wanna do on all of your website properties in Google Analytics, all of your website accounts in Google Analytics. Uh, this is under the view settings actually though, so you're going to need to go into every single account, property, and then view, and then under view settings, check exclude all hits from known bots and spiders and click save. And as you can see, um, since we did this, I'm going to show you the traffic since we did this, and you can see that the Boardman... Oregon um, overall has made up a lot less of the web traffic. Um, we, we set up a bot filtered view. So if you look at our bot filtered view, you can see that Boardman, Oregon has made up, uh, you know, 1.75% of the web traffic, <clears throat> right? Versus if we didn't have this bot filtered view in place, you would see that Boardman, Oregon makes up, um, still without the bot filtered view in place, Boardman, Oregon makes up 82% uh, of the web traffic. So that little checkbox there makes a huge difference. And uh, you're gonna want, you know, you, you know, the first step to making sure that you can make data-driven decisions is that you have accurate data, right? So uh, definitely, definitely, definitely filter out the known bots and spiders traffic in your Google Analytics views. This has been your data-driven daily tip. For more free digital marketing tips, go to dataoveropinions.com. Subscribe to the podcast. Go to datadrivenpodcast.com to figure out how you can subscribe. 
And uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel too, youtube.com slash Paul Hickey. To get the data-driven daily tips emailed directly into your inbox every week, go to datadriven.design slash subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at datadrivendesign, on Twitter at dataoveropinion. And uh, don't forget that you don't have to really log into Google Analytics anymore to check how your web traffic is doing. You can just ask Alexa, get access to our voice-enabled business intelligence dashboard by going to askdatadrivendesign.com. Thanks and have a great day.